A lot of people don't know that I lived in a house for four years without any water. I mean, that's no big deal, right? There's people all over the place, all over the world with no water. But, you know, in 1985, yeah, I think it was uncalled for, especially if a family of 10. Um, it was, I was the oldest of eight kids, um, and then it was the parents, and, um, we just did not have enough room in the house that we were living in and had to move to another house and basically had it built up around us and the best I can figure is we ran out of money and the well never got fixed um, luckily we had a pond down back behind our house there was two or three acres and down a couple of acres down um, we we had a pond and the boys or, or whoever's turn it was generally that fell to the boys um, there were five girls and three boys generally uh, would take a 10 gallon bucket down to the tank and throw it in the bucket and pull it up and bring it back home and dump it into the back of the toilets to flush water that way um, and try to keep a couple on hand we also um, the male figure in the house the adult uh, worked at the fire station and we would go down there once a week take the whole crew and go down there and and just take over the firehouse and and take baths and brush our teeth and and just really take the opportunity to get clean um, probably two or three times a week we would take big 10 gallon um, I'm sorry big 30 gallon trash cans and load them up in the back of a truck and take them down to the fire department and fill them full of water and we would take those back home and one would be what we would drink out of one would be what we would cook out of one would be what we would you know spot clean ourselves with um and then as far as the laundry went oh my god eight kids and two adults lots of laundry we would have to go to the laundromat and we would drive around until we found a laundromat that didn't have a lot of people because we took it over we took the laundromat over because you couldn't go every day you couldn't do a pair of pants or towels when you needed to god forbid sheets when people went to bed you had to wait and do it all at the end of the week and there was just so 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 very much um so it was just an interesting time in our life. I do remember one time um, bringing the fire truck home and throwing the hose up over a tree limb and letting it come down and turning the nozzle on real low so we could stand under that and take showers. I didn't participate in that um, because I just kind of got a weird vibe about being so openly, publicly taking a bath in front of people. And um, I can go into that in, in a, another video somewhere. But um, it was really wild not having any water. Um, it really, it, it, it was a pain um, not having any water. But that's one of those things that you get through. And, um, and we made it. Thank you much. Bye.